Hi everyone and welcome to my second video in the series of unbreakable reverse shells with pwn caps. This time around it's going to be about spawning multiple reverse shells and even spawning as many as you want. Of course there's a theoretical limit but let's just see how that goes. So as a quick recap on our current setup we still have this vulnerable PHP application where you can just throw anything into the param and this will be blindly executed on the host system. We also have our web server with PHP support up and running in the top left terminal. Let's see if this is actually ready. And indeed, it throws a 200. So let's just hop over to our Kali box. Let's clear this out. And see our current Pwncat version. This is 0021. And since the last version, we had a couple of changes. Let's have a look. We're still looking specifically at the self-inject argument and what has changed is actually the behavior of specifying ports for the reverse shells. So now you have three different options of specifying multiple ports. There is a comma separated list. You can specify a range or an increment operator. So let's try this out real quick. We'll be using the increment operator. We'll start our pwn kit listener on port 4444 as usual. We place the IP address with ours. Start off at port 4444 for the first reverse shell and then give it another three. So let's start this up real quick. We'll head over to our vulnerable PHP application and as shown in the last video, we'll simply be using an initial netcat web shell. And here we go. Pwncat has already launched four reverse shells connecting to us. Let's see if that actually works. For the first one, we will be simply using netcats at port 4445, as 4444 is still in use by the initial listener. And we have a client connected. Let's give it a shot with another one, 4446 this time. We have a client connected and let's also use the last one which is 4447 and also here we have the client connected so let's stop the web request stop also the initial listener give this one a normal listener wait for the client to connect we didn't see that this time let's give it some verbosity here and here we go the client has connected as usual, we can always control C out of there. Wait for it to connect again. Or let's control C out of all of them. Let's wait for them to connect again. There we go. Everything is connected again and they will of course keep coming to you. So you might be saying, okay, that is just four reverse shells. Why not give it more? And indeed, you actually could. We could start at port one and go all the way up to 65,535 ports. But probably this is not a good idea. I've tried that already, which looked like this. So at around 27,407, my notebook just died and gave up. You can also see the kernel message below. CPU got stuck for 26 seconds. And I thought maybe just give it a few more minutes for it to calm down. But luckily or unfortunately, or however you call it, Pwncat is using the reckon and reckon wait argument for its self-connecting reverse shell, which means reckon always connect back to us even if there's no listener and do that every second. And for all of those reverse shells to connect back to us every second, there was just way too much for my machine. So think for yourself, is it a good idea to spawn so many shells or maybe try it even out? How many shells can you spawn? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.